have a sense of when we know something. We also kind of know when we don't know. And, and my feeling with team training and simulation training and practicing is it teaches you to know when you know and to ask for help or not even ask for it, be capable of receiving help. Team training is about working with the other people to maximize the benefit to the patient. Now, whether that's sepsis or anything else, it, it's the same concept. It's the same concept of using all of your resources. It doesn't have to, you don't have to go it alone. It took a few years for me to realize how much I had learned. And ironically, I, I travel around a lot, I travel around the world, um, spent a lot of time in Rwanda and all the challenges that they have in different cultures. And I, and I still will spend some time in very, I'm the doctor culture. And when you've been awoken, so to speak, it's, it's incredible that people practice the old way, the way that I used to practice, where I didn't want to involve any of my colleagues because I felt threatened by it. But when I go to, to uh, crises or events still, there are plenty of times I'm pretty confident. I know what I'm doing. And with my training, I felt I've been able to affect change in those crises because I knew that I was correct. I was confident. I wasn't just faking it because if I didn't, I felt comfortable taking a back seat. And I learned techniques to help me help others want to accept my help rather than feel bullied or burdened or, or um, made to feel less about their own skills because perhaps, th perhaps their management was incorrect. And again, who are we here for? We're here for our patients. We're not here. I'm here so that my patients theoretically are getting the best care they can get. My patients are not here to make me necessarily feel wonderful about myself and, 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 and my knowledge base or my skill set. Um, and, and making that transition, making my transition is how I learned that. I learned it in simulation because you can't, you can't just learn that in clinical practice. There's some things, it's not practical. It's not practical to change your approach to involving colleagues in your day-to-day -day care because it's not what you do. <laughs> and and, and you, need, you do need that practice.